Okay, I'm going to talk about something you've never heard me talk about before. It's grinder safety, okay? Grinders are dangerous things, but here's the deal. For the last 350,000 years, our DNA has been making us very aware of everything that's dangerous around us. The problem is nowadays we have everybody that likes to tell us that. The corporations will tell you, hey, if you see something dangerous, warn these people. Yeah, but general public just doesn't need that, okay? Because general public is paranoid enough as it is. So there's no sense in being just irrationally scared of things that aren't that dangerous, okay? I run grinders without any guards because that's the way I like doing it. There's a few things. If, you, if you're just completely new to these, let me give you some hints here, okay? They will remove fingers. They will open up the flesh in a heartbeat. Uh, if you lock one on, and some of mine have the ability to lock them on. Now they've done away with that, but I still love those. I love locking the blade on because I can lock it on, and then I can actually position the grinder in a, in a hard-to-get-to place, and it keeps running without me having a finger over the trigger. So for me, I do lots of things. You know, there's a lot of people that go... Uh, uh, skydiving and uh, have you ever seen that close proximity wingsuit flying? Okay, it's all there's things in life that are dangerous. Okay, just don't back away from them because you've never tried them and somebody's convinced you that it's just dangerous. It's not. Most people exaggerate this completely. I'll give you an example here. Here's some pictures that were posted up on uh, my Facebook page by a friend of mine who I, uh, who I admire and adore greatly. And they're not a bad theme. It's like, you know, don't do something stupid with a grinder. That's the theme here. But the problem is so many of us are so overreactionary to this stuff. We think, oh, you know, it's, it's don't let Bobby have a grinder. It's like, you know, if Bobby cuts himself, worst thing's going to be is the soft tissue damage. He might lose a finger at worst, you know. We need these experiences to grow up in life, some of us. So it's like, it's okay. Um, let me tell you some things just don't do, right? The, the one I always see is on, the, on, this, on these videos is somebody's cutting with a grinder like this and their face is in the plane of rotation. First off, there's a lot of hints there of all those sparks hitting you in the face. That's called a clue that you shouldn't have your face in this line of rotation or any other body part for that matter. The other thing that happens with these discs is people use them like grinding discs. They press sideways on them. These are cutoff discs. It's a nice thin blade that's meant for cutting through. I'll do that every once in a while too, but boy, I'm careful about how much pressure I put on it. And I keep my body parts out of the plane of rotation for the most part. The handle is here, the blade's here. You crossed your hand over the blade. Get on the other side of the machine, okay? That helps out tremendously. So when you're cutting into this, don't cut up from the bottom because when you get close to the top, the weight of this pipe is gonna go down. It's going to pinch that blade closed and it's gonna bind up and lock up. So you don't want to be doing this, you want to be coming down from the top. And then think about, okay, when I get this cut off, what happens to the rest of this pipe? It's now a lot lighter weight, so it's going to flip up. Was well, that going to hit me in the face? The other thing you ought to know is these blades are not heavy. They're also very strong. The chances of one of these coming apart is r remote. I'll show you that, okay? I will prove this to you, that these things don't come apart easily. And when they do, this is not a lot of mass, so it doesn't have a lot of inertia, so it slows down quickly. It doesn't carry its momentum from this 9,000 RPM rotation to hit anything to do more than some minor soft tissue damage. Now, if that happens to be your eye, yeah, I wear glasses and that's enough. If you have safety glasses, brilliant idea, that's enough. You know, I've had one guy, of all the people that come through here that got an eye injury, I've had one guy, he was wearing goggles and a face shield while grinding. He still got a little splinter of, of steel in his eye. Probably because it blew in there or else he took his gear off and it was a nice hot summer day and he did that. He wiped the, the sweat out of his eyes with gloves that had little splinters of steel all over them. So three days later, we got to get the, the little uh, thing out, pick it out of his eye, no harm done, okay? But do, do the common sense stuff. You know, I mean, that's just common sense. But try not to tell everybody to be, you know, don't be chicken little. Don't go around telling everybody to be terrified of these things because it's just not that terrifying, okay? I think all of us need to have a little more courage and take a little more risk, and that's how we learn. And it's, it's an enjoyable tool to use, okay? Just respect it. Some common courtesy and respect. Okay, so we're doing a test, all right? A grinder disc, and if you look closely, it has been seriously damaged, okay? You're an idiot if you use a grinder disc that looks like that, okay? Because I cut it with another disc. If you're thinking that that's a good disc, you've got problems already. <laughs>
And then we have a piece of quarter inch steel and some safety glasses. Maybe I'll get lucky enough that it will go into the safety glasses. I probably will not. Okay, since I'm intending to make this thing blow up, I'm going to wear some safety protection. So let me see if, I don't know, it may come apart immediately. But I'm kind of hoping it'll do that and send something into it. Okay, let's give it a try. Alright, now I left this nut loose and that's what it was doing, it's it tightening up. Because I didn't want the nut to pinch the the blade too much so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit because I want this piece to be able to fly away not just be pinched by the hub I'm trying to make this as bad as we can all right nothing yet okay now we're gonna have to get drastic I'm gonna put some gloves on so now what I'm gonna do to make it break is I'm going to cut that a little bit deeper and then I'm going to twist on the blade. Okay, something you should never do is put sideways pressure on a cutoff blade. Alright, here we go. Now I'm going to twist it. Oh, we're getting a little pile up there on your glasses. pretty good here not breaking it I'm gonna eat the blade up okay obviously that blade was not meant to come apart it just chewed it all the pieces and let's try again yeah that's a piece yeah but it's not I mean, yeah, it's, it's laying in chunks all over the place. That's a piece of it, too. But I was getting pelted by them. I didn't even feel it. This is a uh, DeWalt cutoff disc. Okay. That. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can get it up to RPM like that. Okay, holds together. Okay, ready? Where'd that go? That was pretty good. <laughs> okay. Not so easy to do. Yeah. I don't think that would have gone through anything. I think you would have felt it, but I don't think it would have gone through anything. Especially safety glasses. There. 9,000 RPM? 9,000. Cool. Okay, another seriously damaged disc. It went that way last time, right? It did. So if I'm over here, maybe it'll go that way. Alright, I'm going to go to the other one. Serious? You're broken. Let me break it some more. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna come off. Okay. Back over there again. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now we gotta find the glasses. Oh, there's the rims. There's one piece of the disc. Yes. Are you serious? There's the other piece. So where are the glasses? <laughs> what the crap? They're there. <sighs> They're intact. So they went flying four feet away. I don't think you're gonna pierce the glasses. So those photos, I think they're a complete hoax. I think that grinding disc was put into those glasses while it was spinning and pressure was applied to get them to cut into it. Now why would somebody do that? It's to scare you because scaring you is the easiest thing in the world. That is what we're wired for. Food, sex, and being scared.
All of this is why kids should spend much more time on the playground because it's all physics, it's all balance. And if you want to think, well, I can't get better at that, I'm a klutz. No, you're, you're not a klutz. You're a human being just like the rest of us. All you have to do is focus on it, pay attention to it, take some yoga classes, learn about balance, learn about being aware of your surroundings, learn of those things. That is what's going to keep you safe more than anything else is understanding all the things that are around you and how they move and how you move among them. And take your time. And when you, you, you're rushed, stop. Don't be rushed.